Also at the Capitol, there's a bill to amend the state's laws regarding the permitting of nuclear waste storage. But a group that fought a study that could have brought nuclear waste to the state says this bill needs changes. Jim Olson joins us live with an update on the battle that began three years ago in rugby. Jim. Well, North Dakota's geology is perfect for deep burial of high-level nuclear waste. The bedrock is solid, and as you can see by the map that indicates the danger from any sort of earthquakes, we don't have much of a chance of that. The federal government knows that and three years ago took steps toward testing the area near Rugby. The plan was derailed by public opinion and a county commission vote that put a moratorium on such actions. And I think it made waves all the way back to Washington, D.C. that this tiny little county had the courage to stand up and say, wait a second. Now, the Dakota Community Alliance, formed to fight the project three years ago, is back in high gear, reviewing Senate Bill 2037. It includes major amendments to existing state law regarding the state's response to any potential federal action to store nuclear waste here. From the state standpoint, they want to make sure something is passed so that we do have a way to protest. The problem is this group thinks the proposals in SB 2037 are inadequate and wants changes. So we want to make sure that the county who's targeted in any way for testing is able to consent and go through all these procedures right away at the beginning before we do the slippery slope to any kind of actual storage. Another concern is that, as written, Senate Bill 2037 would allow the three-member Industrial Commission to approve projects when the full legislature is not in session. That's about 20 out of every 24 months. For something as big as a real high-level nuclear waste storage or permanent storage facility, I would hope that we would have legislative approval because this would affect the whole state. As the bill stands now, the Dakota Community Alliance is concerned that SB 2037 is just about an invitation to bring nuclear waste to the state. And this basically, we feel, made a little road map. Follow A to Z and you too can get a permit in North Dakota. I don't want let North Dakota, the wonderful plains that we have, turn into a waste basket. The Dakota Community Alliance is hoping to have a chance to be in Bismarck and testify on their concerns the next time that the bill comes up before a Senate committee, and that could be maybe next week. Okay, Jim Olson reporting. Thanks, Jim. The North